previously on the Mike Knox Show. Welcome back, y'all, to the Mike Knox Show. And listen, here on Unpop Review Entertainment, like, follow, and subscribe. Shout out to the Z is silent with you words of two speech. Shout out to the Victorious Ones podcast, very young 301 King Vaughn Jr. on the Twitter, holding it down as well. Thank you, fellas, for that. Um, the weekend wrestling's always fire as well. Um, man, listen, so some things, just some things, right? So one of the things is this whole kickoff thing and where I think wrestling stands, right? I said this, I'm accused. If you're, if you're, if you know me, not just listen to the Mike Knox show on Mondays or the shows that I appear on, um, over the years, but like, if you get to talk to me a lot, I'm known as that's the greatest of all time shit, right? So I always got to kind of like pull stuff back and try to, once I initially say it, I try to like categorize it, right? So like, I thought, I didn't get what I wanted from WrestleMania, wrestling fans, right? Not one time did you see me get online and voice my displeasure. <laughs> See, I, I don't, I don't do, I don't do none of that, right? So I watched the show. I wanted Rock and Roman, and they have, to me, bumped Roman Reigns down to little cousin. This is why it, it better not be a trick of the enemy, right? Walking out the back of the of the, uh, of the press conference, and, and you hear Rock saying, um, or, or Roman saying. I told you, I told you. And Rock's like, never again. I believe you. I believe you. Like, so like Roman had always been saying to him, the company sees this in this kind of way. So I don't want to believe they are setting him up the way WrestleMania 14 did. But what I do know in that press conference, the way the world looked at it, the way we went live, the way the Rock is the Rock and the Cody crybabies came out of the world. And again, I'm a Cody Rhodes mark, y'all. I think Cody fans just, y'all forget. And this is where when I ask the question to the Jobber Tears podcast, what are wrestling fans' issues? We can't enjoy anything because we don't get what we want. We voice our displeasure. We cry and bitch on the internet. We like I mean, clearly when you was a kid, you had to have been super spoiled. Or, or in my day, you got a lot of ass whoopings because that's how much y'all cry. Like today, if my kid cries because they don't get what they want, I can't pop them. Right? I go to jail for that shit. When I was a kid, pretty thing. I'm sorry. What? Which one y'all kicked me? Right? That's how fast you got your ass smacked for crying and complaining. The way you guys cry and complain. But it made me think that was the biggest thing to me in WWE history. One of the biggest we they've done, they've done press comments before. We've had big moments in the WWE, right? The biggest moments to Mike Knox has been WrestleMania three, the press conference. It was him versus Andre. And we all know what happened when he slammed Andre, right? It's black history month. Don't get it twisted. His, he, that's the Baltimore on the Mike Knox show. We don't say his name and damn sure not both of them. Okay. If I do slips out, but WrestleMania three, him versus Andre, one of the biggest ones in wrestling history. Again, I will always say wrestling would not be here without him. Who should not be named on the Mike Knox show. Then we got WrestleMania 28, the rock and Jonathan Horatio Rodriguez, Tom Brady, Cena, one of the biggest things ever. Because The Rock had left, Cena, who he was at this moment in time, starting to be hated by wrestling fans at this point, but had enough fan base and idiots and supermarks like myself who took his side over The Rocks. Okay? Z, what? Don't say it. Don't put it on my screen. You tried, you tried, you tried, you tried to anchor man me. Okay? So, stop it. I will, I will, I will block this room. <laughs> I will block it. But they say, shut it down. Okay? Shut it down. Then we get WrestleMania 6. Well, there you go. <laughs> we get WrestleMania 6. And we get the Ultimate Warrior versus Lord Voldemort. Again, biggest moments in the WWE's history. We got Rock and Stone Cold. Their press conference, My Way or the Highway, and every single one of the match they had that was not that song and other songs from WrestleMania 15 on, legends were born, and they were the biggest things in wrestling. Can't forget what made Stone Cold was my guy, Don fucking Michaels, the heartbreak kid himself. Press conference, the whole Mike Tyson thing. You're talking about something big in professional wrestling? This was big. 
You know what? And if you knew he was gonna do that, then you know no, something else. One thing I would give wrestling fans credit for, them having to change this whole thing right here made it bigger. This this is WrestleMania. And and this is Endeavor. This is TKO, everyone it is called now. I'm not in for all that kind of stuff. This is the WWE. This is the Triple H era to Mike Knox. Okay. What the hell is the head shaking for? Sp speaketh. Speaketh. Your microphone's muted. Speak. You, you, I can talk. You can hear me? I'm here. Yes. Oh, good. Great. Listen, this is the stupidest shit ever. This is dumb. Fan. <laughs> Have no control over this. You never were in control. Do you know what this is? This is this is the old man dangling the dollar. Oh, oh, you almost got it. Huh? Got to be quicker than that. Listen, they're not stupid. They have the if if Triple H all of a sudden has his ear to the whole social media of wrestling for the whole year, the whole entire time that he's ever been in tr control, him, right? Do you think that he doesn't think that if they bring Rock in front of Cody? that they're not going to get backlash. This is all I'm saying. They they always praise Triple H. He's doing a great job. This is better than Vince ever done. Da -da -da -da. And then all of a sudden, you think that Triple H doesn't know what he's doing at this point in time? Well, I just think that fans, if we're talking about intelligent wrestling fans, like, like somebody put in the chat that maybe the, the whole thing was, why would Rock become Cody's counsel just to side with Roman? Yeah. It makes sense to have him play. It does. It's a storyline. It does. Yeah. So it's the Mike Tyson saying. effect, that whole thing. And but, it's to me, damn it, is the fans that are doing this goofy shit. That's what yeah. I'm Back to you, brother. Well, see, the, see, and, and that's the and that's the caveat in this whole entire thing, right? Is that that is sort of why it's awesome. Because I will say this much. If 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 BKM was in charge, we'd have got Rock and Roman. Automatically, there would be nothing to be talked about. And this is where they say, well, oh. And guess what? This wrestling fan would have been okay with that. But what would not have been okay, and why I do deem this, Mike Knox has deemed this the Triple H era, is because he does hear the fans. He has more, um, he has more Tony Khan in him. Yep, there it is. He has more Tony Khan in him than people give him credit for. Tony Khan just don't have the, the machine behind him, okay? Because he don't want to hear Rock get booed. That wasn't the plan. It was supposed to be, tri you know what I mean? That wasn't the plan. So they were, and it was being talked about. I was talking about in our chat. And then when he said it, I mean, it was literally everywhere. They were going to try to hijack WrestleMania. And as a wrestling fan, I hate those moments when they're not, Daniel Bryan kind of deserved it. But damn, just like in the same situation, y'all just said, fuck Batista? When y'all loved Batista? And I love Daniel Bryan. I think it was one of the biggest moments ever. But that was whack to me. So I'm enjoying it. I say it's one of the biggest things they've ever done because for them to fix it, to put this press conference up there, watching this shit like a UFC boxing press conference, this shit was big. It was talked about everywhere to the point they had a, they had a, a WrestleMania trailer at the Super Bowl. One last time it's been a wrestling anything at the Super Bowl. Okay? Shout out to nobody ever wanted to see Deadpool, but now it's called Deadpool the Wolverine. You got my money. Okay. <laughs>